and thousands of people were stuck in traffic with nowhere to go. Many people turned to boats to get around. We've also gotten a call after, excuse me, calls after call asking if the pumps were working. And that's yeah. the big question. We were told by the Sewage and Water Board that the pump stations were operational and fully staffed, but no drainage system in the nation could handle this much water. We have crews all over town covering this morning's flooding. That's right, because there's still flooded water sure. all over the streets. Danny Monteverde is live in Mid-City. He's joining us from there with the latest. Hi, Danny. One of the areas still dealing with some high water. You said that right. We are on Jeff Davis at Canal right now. You can see uh, it's reduced. Well, really, there are no lanes of traffic, essentially, but you can see there tra is traffic trying to get by, but you can just see how deep it is. I'm here on the curb, and it's um, close to my knees. My knees are right here, so it's about halfway up my shins at this point. And um, it's like this on parts of Canal. It's like this here on this stretch of Jeff Davis. It's on the other side of Jeff Davis as you're going toward Bayou St. John. Actually, we were trying to get to Broadmoor a little while ago. We've heard reports of bad flooding over there. <clears throat> we frankly couldn't get there. Um, at this time, you can see how bad the tra the uh, the water's gotten. These cars that are that are driving along Jeff Davis, they are hugging the curb as close as they can, where the ground is a little bit higher. But if you take a look down, uh, you can just see it's just kind of uh, almost bumper to bumper traffic as people just crawl through the area right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, trying to figure out where to go. Again, this part of Mid-City, uh, Brian Lucas and I, my photographer, we were trying to get to Broadmoor, as I said, and we just had to stop here because all of the side streets that we could see are in this similar shape. You have um, cars that have water up to the rims, if, uh, up to the doors, if not a little bit higher. You got trash cans that have fallen over. Uh, and again, water that's just, uh, at this point, I, I haven't seen it go down. We've been out here probably close to 30 minutes at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we're just not seeing this water so far here, at least, go down. It doesn't look like. Now, we did go from Lakeview to here a little while ago on the way here. Uh, that area was flooded this morning. The good news is parts of Lakeview have drained. But where we are in this part of Mid-City still seems to be a lot of standing water that's just really not going anywhere. Again, you can see water strong enough to knock over this trash can. If you look at this car right here, you can see the water up to the uh, doors. Probably, unfortunately for this person, may have been in it. Uh, if it's not in it right now. And again, you see traffic here trying to uh, trying to get around, but if you take a look down Jeff Davis toward Tulane Avenue, it is just extremely slow going considering the depth of this water right here and the fact that as of right now, it doesn't seem to be moving a whole lot. Another problem, as you uh, may have seen just a little while ago, if you joined us in our last live shot, is first responders such as police, fire, EMS, they're having trouble getting through. You can see there's a police car with its lights and sirens on. It's just crawling right now because there's nowhere for the traffic to go easily. And so that's another uh, problem that we're dealing with out here. So if you're watching this and you don't have anywhere to be, just stay in your house right now. It's really not anywhere you want to be. It's not easy to get around. It's not a fun condition to be in out here. Um, it's just really not somewhere you want to be right now. Actually, we spoke just a few minutes ago to a uh, family from the West Bank that was heading over here to drop their son off to a uh, to a school program that got canceled this morning. They've been trying to get home to the West Bank uh, since 8.30 this morning, and they can't get to the West Bank. Uh, that's just how bad things are out here in parts of Mid-City and in other parts of the city as well. All right, Danny, thank you. And Going into the afternoon now, this is something that happened in the morning. So I this know. is an event that's just stretching and ongoing. And clearly you saw there that the water wasn't going down where Danny was standing. Right. A lot of this started during the morning commute. It's lunchtime and people yeah. are still dealing with it.